Well, that's very weird, isn't it? Hey guys, and welcome to the game video from me, Diamond Wither. But today, I'm going to be carrying on with Terraria. Um, in the last episode, like, I purchased the dirt rod, and then I got attached to this single block of dirt. Oh, no. Like, throwing it around, attaching it to the rope for some reason. Just throwing it around, throwing it off the building and stuff like that. Now, trying to somehow get it back up. <laughs> Whoops, trying to somehow get it back up. No, it's not working. Trying to somehow get it, no. Trying to somehow get it back up there. Using the rope. Yeah. But yeah, as you saw just now, I had been carrying on with the roller coaster. So if I just get this back to its normal place. I wanna I want you to have a look at my roller coaster. So as you just saw, because I have water walking boots, somehow that affects that um, for some reason affects the minecart as well, which means the minecart can just start rolling across the water for some reason, the ocean. Um, obviously, like, it will stop because it's not on rails anymore, but that was weird when that happened. And then the mecha massive jump. Ah, uh, if you see my last video, video, I don't know, this is absolutely amazing. Yeah, and I carried it on over here, jump over here. And down here, then this is where you saw. Or like, and it goes over here, then this is where you saw, then it goes over here, then what? And then the weirdness happens. I go on top of the water. Oh, pretty much the edge of the world. Not quite the edge of the world though. But yeah. Pretty much the edge of a really 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 big whoa that's massive that's actually massive i did not realize how big ocean biomes could be that's crazy let's sink down and see if i've missed anything underground i don't think i have otherwise there'd be chests here oh i have missed one little thing down here which is a Tiny bit of money. What I mean by tiny bit is like loads and loads of copper coins. Ah, oh, need to get home. Don't die, please. So yeah, that's the roller coaster. I've been yeah. So I finished the or kind of did that off camera. And actually, I need to go and put some stuff away now. Cause that took absolutely ages, actually. Because like, um, because like, I had been spending a lot of time in the corruption, as you saw, which meant the uh, eater of souls would have been after me straight away, which me, which would have meant I took absolutely ages, which yeah, it did. It took absolutely ages to. Complete. Find what, yeah. So that can go in. What else? No. Uh, no. Um. I also got a lot of this stuff. Actually, I need this. I want to see if I can make. Wait. I need to make vial powder. To do that, I'm gonna need a glass bottle, which is in here. So if I just grab that very quickly and place it down there, and then no, and then very quickly put that back right there. Then I want to create those uh, mushrooms into vial powder. 
25 ah oh uh i need 30. actually i want to make this into leather because you can also make oh i was going to say you can also if i just make like some it's here archaeologist jacket i'm just going to say that it's a leather suit because my favorite material is leather so i'm gonna make all that in two i have nowhere near the amount i need i need 30. so probably now i'm gonna be spending actually what does this do remove the hollow or the hollow whichever way you want to say it it's basically just the biome in the in hard mode if you don't know about that it's basically just as it as it says in the name harder uh that did not go to plan so i need to make it over to the corruption I, the corruption i think i chose the perfect time because if it's night time it means more monsters and if it means more monsters then it means more eaters of souls and if it means more eaters of souls then it means more um rotten chunks and and when i say more rotten chunks it means quicker leather production and i make it oh yay uh, and stop and go off and i want as many eaters of souls as possible did i say rotten chunks i'm not sure anyway i need this i need um 20 four more no 24 times 5 i have no idea i'm terrible at maths <laughs> 20 what is 24 times 5 uh that'll be 20 for the 4 100 100 and forward in chunks i'm pretty sure they stack up in 99 so i just need to get a stack and five and that is going to take absolutely ages so when i've got near enough 104 i'll be with you guys in a second because i'm going to be here for a, a very very long time another thing to notice they don't always give you rotten chunks so that's a problem i'm gonna need to kill over probably 200 of these punks which is absolutely insane actually i might actually just do this like time after time every time i come here but i'll make some progress now since i've already since i've already arrived here but yeah let's just do some more stuff i think i just oh did you see the bottom right corner to that the the, 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 the the devourer uh didn't give me any rotten chunks though which is not very nice i'm not even sure if they even can give you rotten chunks but i'm sure they can because i mean i don't even know i i, I just expect it to I need to times this by practically 10. I need to get 10 times the amount I already have and add a 4 onto the end. Why am I adding maths into gaming? You know what? I just make gaming boring. Adding adding maths into gaming. I'm, I'm such a punk. I don't know why I do this. Adding maths into gaming. I do not know what I do with my life anymore. Guys, I found another one! Another devourer! Which is... There! Go away. I don't think they even do give you rotten chunks, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I need to get 90 more and I'm already getting... I'm getting bored now. I've only gotten 14 and I'm already getting bored. 15, even. And I'm already getting bored. 16 and I'm already getting bored. I'm not even sure. I don't know what else to do, to be honest. I don't even know what I should do. 
The only things I really have on my mind right now are like extending my house and that. That looks weird. Just being like floating. It just looks like I've landed in a tree, so. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna go home because I'm, I, I, I'm just getting bored of this already. I'm just gonna collect rotten chunks. Ah, oh, I should have got that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna collect rotten chunks over time and hopefully at some point it should add up to the amount that I need. Uh, so I'll put all this away because I do not need it at the moment. Uh, that we can make a couple of eyes of Cthulhu's out. Of, I have Cthulhu's out of that. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Um, where are they? They're there. I want to grab that. No, put that away. No, that goes in the blocks. Um, well, that goes in over there. I actually need to go back to the corruption. Seriously, back to the corruption. Actually, let's use the silt. No, and see what we get. So let's see what we get. Let's go. I can see platinum, diamond, copper, amethyst, gold, amber, iron, more lead, and copper, and gold, and silver, and emerald, and tungsten, and platinum and tin, and iron, and amber, and copper, and lead, and amethyst, and all this stuff like that. That would have to say, platinum, copper, tin, tungsten, and other things. Now, I need to make all this mess into bars. Which means, oh, why have I just gone back there? Which means furnace time. Make all that. That, the tin, the iron. The lead, silver, tungsten, uh, gold, and platinum. Now that can go away. I have a lot of ores and gems. I mean, seriously. If I just go to the chest, I bet it's pretty much full. You know, this is about my 14th episode, and I'm... I've already got all of this mess. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the corruption. To grab... A couple more... Uh, I, I have Cthulhu spawners. Um, what are they called again? Suspicious look. Suspicious looking eyes. Ah, made it. Sometimes I just don't make the jumps and I'm just really depressed with life. <laughs> Alright, here is our stop. And uh, And fall down and carry on going. Like the greatest man on earth, because that's what I am. Yay. And down here. Just fall. Ah! And then you die. Actually, as I, as, I mentioned before, uh, the, as I mentioned before, like, I could just, like, go around and just, like, collect them. Three, that should be enough to make me plenty of demonite armor. Uh, oh, no, no, it isn't demonite armor, it's shadow armor. The only thing I need to do now is wait until night. In the meantime, I'm going to build more, in, um, more NPC hotel rooms. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put those down there ready for night time. I need much more wood. Where is the closest forest that isn't being used by the roller coaster? Uh, it is. I think I had this um, glitch that I could use. What I could do is I could grab spruce wood. Yeah, grab spruce wood, 
turn into fences and then turn it back into no i already have some spruce wood yes i could get rub some spruce wood turn into fences and then turn it into normal wood it'll, it'll only do it back into spruce wood and to normal wood yeah that so i think my glitch was turn it into that and then oh i'm pretty sure it did work before but i'm not too sure is there a good source of wood over here uh no not that much really i've kind of mined it all that's all mahogany and then it's the ocean what about really over if i can get all the way like is it is a there's, there's a couple trees there uh a couple trees there which will take ages to get to though but at least it it's pretty much one of the only sources of wood in this in it that's literally the only apart from like the big tree that's um left that's left of the houses that's pretty much the only trees the only normal trees in this world so crazy now if i fly because i don't want to die no sorry no sorry and if i go over here don't fall don't die either from that punk uh grabbing rotten chunks along the way which is good now if i just go down here and up here and up here then down here no and that will okay then over here not this tree that I'm above now because that's using it as like a sort of like a kind of like a stand. But now if I get out my axe, I can start chopping down the trees. I was going to say maybe I'm going to see if I can get 999. The stack of trees or the the, st the full stack of wood that you can get. But that's not going to happen anytime soon because, you know, there's not that much trees left in this world. I've literally been deforesting. De what? Deforesting? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've literally just been deforesting all over the place. Alright. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so I just do this. And grab all of this. Yeah, I've, yeah, so I've been deforesting all over the place. And not replanting the trees, which is really bad. So I'm probably gonna have to um, do some more growing trees. This video might be called deforestation or something because there's like no trees in this world or normal trees don't go over the edge. Uh, like there's no regular trees in this world whatsoever. Because uh, I've just, which is like I've just said, absolutely crazy. I'm literally chopping down the last of the normal trees. The only source of normal wood after this is the is the big tree. It, I'm just glad that whenever you chop down a tree, it, I think this that is literally the only palm tree in the world. No, there might be deserts and stuff, which have some. And I'll be with you guys, and I'll start building some of the rooms. Alright, so guys, this is all I actually had time to properly build. It's just that it's turning to night very soon, and I want to fight it, the Earth Cthulhu as soon as possible. And see if I can defeat all three of them in one night, at least two. Oh, and by the way, I also killed a slime that gave me 12 iron ore. So basically, one slime had all 
One slime had all of that inside of it. I mean, that is insane. One slime had all of that in its body? That's insane. I need to get ready like as soon as possible. Ow. Oh. It's pretty much night time right now. You're ruining me floor! Right. Oh, it's night time. I need to sort out my inventory. Uh, that can go down there. I need that. That can go. That can also go. I need that. That goes there. No. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. And spawn. And fight. Alright, I want to see if I can... Yeah, as I said before, I want to see if I can defeat all three of them in one night. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but I want to see if I can. I think I might just be able to. So I'm doing quite well on this first one so far. Um, but yeah. If you look at the moon sometimes, it is moving pretty quickly. So I might not. But now I'll just wait until the next night and then do it then. So now... It's about to turn to be second form. Quick, hit it, hit it, hit it. On this stage, it has, I believe it has more defense or less defense, but it does more damage. What do you think it has more defense and does more attacks, or it does more attacks and has less defense? All right. Oh, quick movements, quick movements, quick movements. All right, you are dead. Second one. It dropped hearts, so that's good. Right, fight, fight. Uh, I'm not, I don't even know like where the moon is right now. I mean, it could be midnight. So I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's just before midnight. Oh, no, I can just see it. It's way not yet midnight. I'll be able to do it if I fight it. If if I fight all of them in the same period of time, like the same amount of time. That one took me like two minutes. Let's, uh, if this one takes me two minutes, I'll, then I'll probably do it, yeah. Right, wait for it to come down. And then, second form. And go. When it's turning into a second form, whack it as much as possible. And I mean as much as possible. Because while it's transforming, it stays still. So it's good to whack it as much as possible. It's not even midnight yet. Uh, right, boom, spawn. I'm at full health again because each time you kill the Ivka it drops a bunch of health. Including healing potions which are like health for later. They drop like instant health healers or whatever, something like that. So I need to defeat these. And yeah, so I I don't really know what else to talk about. I'm I'm just repeating the two or three times. I mean that's literally it. <laughs> all right, all right. So it when it's just about to change to second form, wait for it to charge, and then hit it, and then hit it. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, I didn't hit it that much because it was in the air. It's good it, when it's just about at half health, but it hasn't just changed yet. It's good to allow it to come near to the ground and then whack it. So then... Wait, what time is it? If I, c if I can defeat three I have, I have Cthulhu's before midnight, then that will be unbelievable. All right, I'm dead. What time is it by looking at the moon if I get up here? It's just not yet midnight. And now it's probably midnight now. I think I just defeated three, three eyes of Cthulhu. 
in less than uh, I don't even know. What color is demonite? It's just pulsing with dark energy as a description. Material can be placed pulsing with dark energy. That's nice. Alright, let's try and make all these into bars and see if I can make anything cool out of it. Uh, well, that's a lot, actually. Alright, uh, actually, I have some iron on me, don't I? Uh, no, I can't, I can't do anything. Oh, that's why. I know why. It's because I need to defeat another boss to be able to do that. So, tell you what that boss is. It is the Eater of Worlds. Yes, I'm utterly destructive, actually. Oh, 17 damage, 26 damage. You know, that's unbelievable. You know what? So, what I've done, I've probably got um, about 5 out of Cthulhu's in one night. Just put all this away. Put everything away. This video might be ended early because I'm not actually sure what else to do. But yeah, that's cool. So I'm gonna put everything, no, everything away. No, what else I need to put away? Oh yeah, piggy bank. That needs to go in there. There's another. That is ten spare broken hearts. That's unbelievable. And oh my chest is full. It it is just about full. Where are all of my rotten chunks? If, if you guys can see them and I just can't, then I'm just being dumb. Oh no, because they're up here. If I make three, that would not be enough. I would need uh. How much would I need? I don't even know how much I would need. <laughs> um, to be able to get... I, w I want at least a j um, the um, archaeologist's jacket, I think it is. If I want to do a tiny bit more of the NPC houses. And then... Well, I'll finish the NPC houses and then I'll be with the guys afterwards. Guys! I'm completely... And utterly out of like normal wood. I didn't even get. I can't do the balconies. I can't complete this wall. And I need to go across the world and see what like actual trees there are. Those are all burial wood. Um. That is ebon wood, like the um um thingy palm trees, but corrupted. That there's one, there's one more regular tree there, but that's used for like a um a um stand or whatever. These are th this is all ebon wood. Um, palm tree. Is there no more normal wood in this world? This is insane. This over here is the big tree, which I don't want to chop down because it's the only one in this world. Uh, no, 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 no. That is. Um, that is a mahogany. Uh, this is all mahogany. All oh, this is useless. And then this. That's all mahogany as well. All mahogany. All of it is mahogany. There is no more wood. I need my acorns right now. Acorns! I am out of wood. Utter deforestation. 
utter deforestation. Celestia, can I buy like um can I buy like thir thirteen can I buy like thirteen million acorns off of you please? I only have fifty acorns. I'm like a kid in the back garden just saying, Mom, can I um uh, can I plant a tree? And it's like and it's like sure sweetie, go go and um, go and make go and grow your own tree. And it's like yay Oh and then it's like and it's like two days later and this is like two months later and it's just like <gasps> It's growing And then just like oh my goodness and then you want to plant some more trees and so then you plant another one next to it and then you carrot and then you're like and, and then you're like oh no I wanna plant some more trees but there's no more space and then you go over to the other side of your house and then you're like, Yay, more tree space! That, what? Uh, my little kid voice has just turned off Terraria. Why is it just turned off Terraria all of a sudden? That's stupid. Anyway, guys, it's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed, then please do leave a like. If you enjoyed me creating utter did did you just see that these two just fell off of here those two just went for no reason whatsoever i'm sure the nurse is going to have to help the um is going to have to help um celestia out and herself have to help she's gonna have to heal herself to be able to be stronger to heal Celestia. Ow. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you enjoyed me creating auto deforestation, then please do leave a like. Uh please subscribe if you are new to the channel also, and I will see you guys all later. Goodbye.